Hello students, welcome to admissions 2021-22 at Christ College, Rajkot. This video is all about giving you demonstration of how to fill the online admission form for admission at Christ College, Rajkot. So let's begin. First of all, you need to go to Google and open Christ College Rajkot website that is christcollegerajkot.edu.in. As you open the website, you will see a pop-up for the admission. To apply for admissions, click on online registration button. You will see the brochure of Christ College and by clicking on download prospectus link below, you will be able to download the prospectus. Now to register for admission, click on apply now. If you are using mobile phone, you will see apply now button on the top right corner by clicking on three lines given there. Now when you click on apply now, you will find the list of courses available and information about online and offline procedure. As you can see, the online admission procedure has four steps. You first need to register, then fill up the application form, third uploading the documents, then your documents will be verified by the college and then you have to pay the fees. Now to start the registration process, click on proceed for registration. You will find the registration form where you need to select the course and enter other details. Let's say I want to take admission in BCom semester 1. So in the program I select BCom. In semester, I select SEM1 option. Then I will enter my surname, name, father's name and gender. Next, I need to enter my mobile number and email ID. Dear friends, please make sure you enter the correct mobile num number and email ID because you will receive message on the given number and ID for further procedure. Next, I enter my WhatsApp number. If you do not have WhatsApp number, then you can enter your parents WhatsApp number. The next field is name of institution of the last qualifying examination. Here, you have to enter the name of the school or college where you study for your last examination. So 12 standard students can enter the name of their school and college students can enter the name of their college. If you have completed your 12th in open schooling, you can write the name of the board, for example, NIOS, and then write the city of your school or college. Open schooling students can write open schooling in this box. Having filled all these details, Click on the submit button and now your registration process is done. You will see a message on your screen saying that your registration has been done and the email verification link has been sent to your email. Now you need to go to your email ID where you will find a mail from Christ College. Open the mail and click on this link to verify your email. You will also see your registration ID and password. Please remember this ID and password because you have to enter it every time to log in for the application form. Now go back to the application form and click on login from the main menu. Students applying from mobile phone will be able to see this link on the top right corner on the admission website. After logging in, you will see the steps for the filling up the application form on the left side of your screen. Like profile, personal details, 
education qualification etc as we have already completed the first step and you are able to see your registration details so now let us go for the second step that is filling up the personal details when you click on the personal details from the left side of your screen you are asked to enter your birth date followed by aadhar number next you will have to select your category that is sc st obc general etc and also write your religion then enter your native place district state country pin code and your permanent address if you have a local guardian you can enter that address but this is optional now you have to enter your parents detail that is your father's name occupation office address and mobile number similarly your mother's name occupation if your mother is a housewife you can write housewife entering the mother's office address is optional and if you have a common mobile phone you can enter your number or father's mobile number in this field next you need to select your parents annual income your parents annual income is the sum total of your father's annual income and mother's annual income next you need to select whether you come from a rural area or urban area and whether you are differently able or not after filling all the details correctly click on the submit button in case of a certain courses you need to choose your optional subjects for that if you are confused you can contact the faculties at the numbers given on our admission website now you will see a message on your screen that your personal details have been saved successfully now the next step is entering your educational details for that again go to the main menu on the left side and select educational qualification here you are asked to give details of your previous academic records that is students taking admission in semester 1 will provide details of their hsc examination and students entering semester 3 will provide the details of hsc semester 1 semester 2 and so on so select the exam that you passed last your course or a stream that is arts science or commerce year of passing your medium english hindi gujarati or other the board or university like jscb cbsc icsc etc and name of your school or college after that you have to enter your seat number total marks and the percentage here those student whose result have not been declared yet can write na in the result section and you can select the option awaited in the result section then click on submit button and you will see that the details that you have entered appear in the table below then you have to enter the subject wise marks of your last qualifying examination here again if your result have not been declared yet you can write na in all the three boxes then click on submit button and you will see that the details that you have entered appear in the table below so this is all about your educational qualification 
the next step is uploading your documents for that again go to the main menu on the left side on your screen and select the next step that is uploading the documents here you are asked to upload your photograph and signature please see that you upload your photograph and signature in jpg format only and the size of the file should be less than 100 kb in case you find that your jpg file is larger than 100 kb you can compress it online then you need to upload your documents in pdf format here uploading your aadhar card is compulsory if you haven't received your mark sheet school leaving certificate and other documents you can upload it later then click on the submit button you will see the images uploaded on your screen and you will be able to view or download the pdf documents so please choose your document correctly now the second last step is final submission select the final submission option from the menu on the left side and you will see that there is a check box for accepting the rules and regulation of the college before you tick the check box please go through the rules and regulation of the college given on the link below only after marking the check box the save button will be enabled and your application will be saved so do not forget to mark the check box and click the save button once you click on the save button you will see a message on your screen congratulations you have filled up the application form successfully and it will ask you to pay the application form fees of 100 rupees click on the pay now button and you will be directed to the payment gateway page where you can pay the fees using any of the options smart pay debit or credit card net banking or a upi once the payment is confirmed you will see a confirmation message on your screen as well as receive a mail on your registered email id now your application process is completed and you will be able to see a preview of your application form by clicking on the print option on the left side of your screen please save this copy of the application form for future reference in your mailbox you will see a mail telling you that your documents are under verification and you will receive an sms or email shortly once your documents are verified then you can log out and keep checking your email id for the confirmation of your application for any queries related to filling up online form you can call on the numbers given on the website admission.christcollegerajkot or write us an email at support@christcollegerajkot.edu.in Thank you for watching this video wishing you all the best